What's up guys? We're back with the Mark IV Supra, of course. Last video, you may have noticed, I was spinning a little bit of tire, a little bit more than usual. And that is because I have virtually no tire left. Let's check the other side. And yeah, there's like no tire left. So naturally, we had to upgrade and get a couple of R888s. So we're going over to GTS tire over in Fort Myers. Gonna get these tires mounted and balanced. And then they said that they couldn't do an alignment because the car's lowered. So we might have to do an alignment another day. But real quick, I just wanna thank every single one of you guys for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Last night we gained like 15 subscribers, I think, which, you know, might not sound like a lot, but that's awesome because being such like a small YouTube channel, you really just get to see the community grow one subscriber at a time. So thanks to every single one of you. I think we're up to 315 now. So thanks to all 315 of you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys when we're back on the road to GTS tire. Gotta close the garage. Gotta close the garage the old fashioned way too. Oh. Damn, look at that thing. Looks good in the sun. Woo! Alright, let's get these new tires on. Oh, let's text him, tell him we're on the way. GTS tire, baby. Got the super in the back right there. About to get those R888s mount mounted and balanced. I was gonna get a drag pack. Obviously, we're not doing the drag pack anymore. I don't wanna spend like 3K on some wheels, tires, and smaller brake kit. Car all jacked up. Get the new R888s on there. Like, obviously, the back is jacked up right now. Look how good the front looks when it's this low. I'm probably gonna, when we get back home, I might take these fronts off and lower the front suspension a little bit to get it looking more like this because the front is not nearly as low to the ground as I'd like it right now. So we're gonna take care of that today. I'm gonna clean the garage and obviously we're gonna rip on the Supra a little bit. If you don't know, now you know. GTS tire, wheels and tires. This is the place that I come for literally like all of my tire needs. Even if I don't buy the tires directly from them, I always have them mount and balance all of my tires. So if you're a car person in Fort Myers and you need wheels, tires, hit these guys up. All right, boys, got the first tire 
mounted and balanced. Let's go. That guy just pulled up. He likes the car. Uh-huh. You heard it? <laughs> That's funny as hell. You mind if I get you on camera? I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, but... What's up, bro? <laughs> Oh yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. I got rid of that, like, what, early 2015. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now he's a Honda boy. <laughs> this thing, it's it's fast. It's it's definitely a little bit of a box, but. But. <laughs> it's it's fun. I actually just got new tires, but got to fix the fitment. I actually. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not that good. I did it myself. I was trying to save money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'll make home for a man right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A guy I work with. Uh huh. He got a bag, uh, D35. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He talks about uh, owning an R34. I'm like, bro. <laughs> you, you better get that <laughs> checkbook <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, bro. You can send it if you want. Oh, yeah, I'll do that. Jeez. For sure, bro. It's the first speed. How long have you been doing YouTube? Uh, just uh, not too long, actually. I'm, I just do it for fun. <laughs> It's fun. I like making the videos and stuff. Yeah, Hell yeah, bro. I heard you, bro. I had, both, I had both doors shut. Uh huh. Where'd it go? <laughs> I look back, all I see is the uh, wing. I'm like, brother, I'm turning around. I turn around on Christmas. I just started looking. I'm like, yo, I hope he stopped. <laughs> I, I didn't see you. I turned back around. Uh huh. I came back up. I'm you like, bro, there me. he is. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Parker. Parker. Nice to meet you, bro. Be easy, brother. Be yeah, easy. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll try. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm gonna gotta feature him in the YouTube. Cool dude. Love to get to show the car off to people because it's honestly like the best part of my day when people love the car. Got the POV cam back on. I guess we're just gonna head home and then uh, work on the suspension a little bit, clean up the garage, and then get to editing this YouTube video. These tires are definitely way more grippy. You can already feel it, holy. Both trap yourselves in, I'm gonna make a jump to light speed. guys as you can probably tell the r triple eights are helping our spinning problem a little bit we're no longer spinning through third but uh yeah the car's driving fantastic right now i will say though the fitment's a little bit whack um yeah i'm not a big fan of the fitment but i'm thinking about keeping it the way it is because the car's not rubbing this tire anymore actually hold on let me get the NT05s out of the Supra and I'll show you. All right, so if you can't tell, we do need an alignment because this side of the tire is completely bald, whereas this side honestly looks pretty new. I mean, like the tread's still pretty deep, but if you can see here along the whole tire, it's just eaten up. Every time the car bumps, it, it, it would just rub way, way, way too bad. So we are going to get an alignment. Uh, the shop that I went to today, GTS, could not do the alignment. They said I was too low. And um, so we're going to get that taken care of. But if anyone wants some uh, slightly used NT05s, hit me up. Now if you look at this tire, this tire actually has a little bit more even tread wear. It didn't just eat one side up as opposed to the other. Um, here, and I'll show you why. Let's put this there. As you can see here, this tire is relatively up and down, whereas this tire has a little bit of camber. And that is in part to the last time I got an alignment for this car. The sway bar that connects to the, the lower camber arm, I'm pretty sure it's called. So if you look right at the tip of my finger, right there, that little joint where that weld is right above the L, that was completely snapped off. And when they did the alignment, either they snapped it off or it was already snapped off and they didn't tell me. Anyways, 
we will be taking care of that and like I said before we're probably not going to drop the car down I know it's not the prettiest but I'd rather it not eat the tire and you, you can't tell about the fitment when this is the only part of the car that you're literally ever gonna see all right now we give you the walk around our very clean garage it's the tool section slash the tire part section and then you come over here make a left got the detail supplies a random fan a vacuum cleaner some old wrap no? Why? Your little suitcase fell in the closet. Oh, I think it fell. It's like, imagine it the cat fell. Was <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw you put animal food on the search. Yeah, they love it. I know, I said that. Like, like, <laughs> Alright, let me too. Bye. But yeah, so the garage is absolutely disgusting. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit, organize it the best we can. If it's not obvious, it's the next day. And before I go over the super build, I wanted to show you guys all the progress I made on the garage. I'm pretty proud of it. So starting off on the right side, there's not all this stuff on the ground. It's all on the shelves. It's all organized. There's a walkway here. Then you move back to the tool section slash parts section. All the tools are organized, all the parts are organized, all the tires are stacked. You come over here and you got the detail section and everything is, I mean, it's better than what it was. And then of course, my favorite, the Supra viewing section. So when I'm alone at night, I can just come out here and look at my car. Now on to the build. So we're gonna start underneath the hood because I'm pretty sure that's what everyone cares about the most. First off, obviously got a big single turbo. It's a 67, 65 precision turbo. We got a built head, ARP head studs, GSC S1 cams, GSC valve spring retainers, um, stock valves though, BC cam gears. Uh, I guess that's all for the head. And then obviously the bottom end is built as well with manly turbo tough rods, stock main caps and ARP head studs. Um, the compression ratio is actually raised to 9.5. The car has 2150 CC injectors, twin 450s in the tank. And then of course you had to upgrade all the lines and the fuel pressure regulator as well. We got Denso coil packs, ATI crank pulley. Obviously we got the bigger Koyo radiator. Underneath the car, we do have a one piece steel drive shaft that I'm actually trying to upgrade to a carbon fiber one. And then we have a twin disc McLeod uh, stage two clutch. That being said, we also have a Tilton throw out bearing, Tilton master and slave cylinder and upgraded uh, clutch line and then I'm sure you guys know but we have a four inch straight pipe from the down pipe all the way to the back of the car where it comes out right here underneath the car we do have stock axles and a stock twin turbo diff however oh you can't see it right here we do have a uh a billet diff cover, which is kind of nice, but I don't really think it does anything. The car currently sits on HKS coilovers, and then we also have all of the supporting control arms and whatnot. The car sitting on rays, gram lights, and then obviously you guys just saw me put the arch blades on the rears. However, we do have some Walmart tires on the front. Last but not least, the car is on a Pro EFI standalone ECU. And I'm sure you guys have seen it, but we do have the interface screen right here where you can pull up your AFR, knock sensors, everything, you know, that you really need. Of course, we have the TRD carbon wing and the carbon hood. It's a little faded. I kind of want to get this polished, but it is real carbon. Oh yeah, we can't forget about the Riddix style carbon fiber splitter. Of course, there's probably a couple of miscellaneous parts that I forgot, like these carbon door inserts in the Corbo seats and whatnot, but that's the car. And uh, yeah, so thanks for checking in on this YouTube video and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.